one. some breakfast I gotta get ready for work yes I have to go to work today so eat so I lost my watch good morning bread how did they do you the fuck is that guy? So guys, this is what I just woke up to. Look what mom bought for her favorite son in the whole wide world. Harry Potter socks. I love you, Kyle. Laugh out loud. Just kidding. Love you, Keith. We even got the Slytherin socks. So guys, the coffee creamer we're using today is the non-dairy creamer, 10 calories per teaspoon. So. Let's watch as the young lad begins to eat his oats and the police begin to chase the villain. It's been a minute. So uh, last time you guys see me, it was early this morning. So 10 a.m. was my last client. Well, when I went into work, and now yeah, we're going on close to 4:30. So right now I am about to go eat something because the last thing you guys see me eat was this morning. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I had like today was a light workout because my back is just destroyed from yesterday's back workout. And ah, when your lower back hurts, it's like ah. So we're gonna go. I'm probably gonna go run to H E B. Grab like a cookie or something protein cookie and then um go home make some food i have to track my stuff still this month has been really busy i like busy but it's been busy <laughs> dj king as much as i love fitness and health i can't stand having to go pee all the time from drinking so much water <laughs> Alright guys, back at home, about to have my snack. We got the protein cookie company, classic peanut butter chip. One of my favorite snacks.
Alright guys, so I got some laundry going right now. What I'm about to do next is I'm going to make an actual meal. Not just like a cookie for a snack. But we're going to make a meal. going to make that right now. So guys, I'm about to make a salad. I've got this ground chicken that I've already cooked up. Skinless chicken. Ground chicken. I got some ground beef. Skinless chicken. Oh, yeah. So I'm about to weigh this out and then put it in the salad. So guys, last time I was in HEB and I've been constantly seeing this on there. I've seen avocado range. This, I finally bought in and I'm going to see what it tastes like. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think. Avocado ranch? It's got to be good. Alright guys, the smell test. It passed. Let's see. It's good. I mean, I don't really notice too much of an avocado -y taste. It tastes like normal ranch. Alright guys, we got our polvo, we got our dress pants, we got our Slytherin socks, Slytherin in those DMs. Out to church, guys. Brad took a poop. What is going on guys? So I'm about, I just got back from church. About to go get some din. I am hungry, um, so yeah. I'm about to go get some chipotle. I'm not even gonna get it. All right guys, so I got my chipotle right here. Again, I'm gonna break down the bowl right now. And unfreeze. I got my bowl, got a Diet Coke right over here. So, you clicked on the video, and uh, I like to share my life with you guys. I don't have to, um, I choose to. Now, I didn't title this because, well, obviously, I know drama on YouTube or any kind of like backstory or anything like that gets a lot of you know, attention. I'm not doing it for attention. It's mostly, um, I want to help other people that may come into contact or may have trouble with certain things like um there's a lot of people that you know they'll watch my channels and you know they had trouble with eating to gain weight or eating to lose weight things like that so i try to cover all aspects guys even if i went through it my own in my own life now i want to go take you guys back when i was in middle school things like that i was never one of those kids that were like super confident that was like one of my thing and I, when i looked up insecurity i was like well i want to make sure that it's kind of lining up with what I'm going to tell them, tell them my, you know, through my story. But yeah, guys, I grew up in um, not a confident kid, man. I was quiet. Um, actually, very quiet. Always, like, nervous. Like, I never had, like, I was even scared to, like, take off my shirt. Now I do it, like, for shows and things like that. And I step on a stage. But, guys, I grew up, like, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of people go through that awkward stage, but... Man, was I like, my confidence level was like zero. Even like, I had to even like, parents, family, things like that, I had to be like, oh, you gotta like, if I, if I were you, I would have more confidence or things like that. But guys, I had like zero. I was like, the least confident dude you ever meet in your life. Not to say like, right now I'm like, oh yeah, I'm the best. Or like, you know, like, oh yeah, look at me. But um, yeah, guys, I grew up. No confidence at all, like none. So if you guys are like struggling like you know with like finding your purpose, finding you know having the confidence behind yourself to get things done and you know just do things in life, I mean guys you just have to like every day I wake up I'm not rich at all um, but I know like I have such a strong belief in what I do it's like nothing can even stop you. that's like the way my brain works um, and I think that's how everybody not everybody works that way. Um, Again, guys, for some people, it's harder. Um, it's not as easy going, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to accomplish this, and nothing will stop me. I literally, I mean, you got to have that strong belief. And I think a big part for me where I switched over was when I started, like, visualizing where I want to be, when I started to it's really ingrain in my, you know, my mind 
that I'm gonna get it done and I'm gonna do it. And I think that's been a big part with my competitions. I've been always competing to get ready and just step on the stage. I've never been really competing to win. Um, and that's a big thing now, I'm competing to win. Not to say like visualization, visualization is some hippie thing that's gonna get you like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna achieve all my dreams, money's gonna come flying from the sky, we're gonna have glorious days. But guys, um, if you're struggling with that confidence, guys, I mean, it's all within here and it's all within what you do. You know, I even like, I legit started reading books like how to get more confidence. And one of them was like, fake it till you make it, walk with a swagger walk. So I was like walking around Conor McGregor style like. No but no guys, literally, um, a big thing is positivity too. A lot of people walk around like Eeyore from, you know, Winnie the Pooh. Guys, have that belief, have that positivity behind yourself. It's very powerful. Um, you can do it! Um, I notice like when I get towards the end of my cut or when I get like head down days, because I do have down days, you know, everybody that watches me knows. Like they can tell like when I'm having a slow day or when I'm at work. So guys, even if you're having like the worst day, just, I mean, I, again, I understand things happen. Um, but again, try to ingrain in your brain, you know what? I'm here, I'm gonna make it through regardless, and um, what can I do in the moment to help? What can I control in that instance? That's the big thing I looked at too, was like, what can I control out of any situation that I'm in? So guys, I'm trying not to make this boring, but yeah, I uh, grew up not a, not a very uh, confident kid, you know, scared to take off my shirt, very insecure when I would talk. Um, I had like speech problems when I grew up, and uh, yeah, I had to take speech class, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's like a big part of my life. I just grew up, and then when I got into like ninth grade throughout high school, I got a little more confident. And uh, YouTube has been a great help too with me just speaking to a camera. Um, and then my job is like, obviously, you know, talking to people, personal training. I mean, you get as personal as you can get. So guys, uh, I hope this story helps with you on your own journey too. Again, just to gain a little more confidence in yourself, what you do. Um, again, guys, we're all, meant to be successful. We just gotta believe it. I'm about to eat my Chipotle fork, it's cold. And we're rolling with the Tabasco Chipotle sauce because it's the best Tabasco one. If you guys still think I'm confident with ladies, I still get really nervous. I, um, actually it's probably where I could excel a little more, but I don't focus like, with my life, again, like they say set goals for your lifestyle. Like, love and relationships is probably on my last to my list and I, I I guess it's just something I'm focusing on trying to be better, not success, but just trying to be better overall. I've been trying to work on myself for years, so hopefully by the time I meet somebody, I'm gonna be like, hopefully this relationship goes good, not like two weeks. What am I saying? I'm not getting in a relationship. I enjoy just eating Chipotle by myself. Who am I kidding? <laughs> All right, guys, this is that paper that you guys seen you know, when you guys clicked on the thumbnail. So when I took the picture with it, crumbled it up, you got to throw it away, guys. That's what you should do with everything that, that bothers you. Take it, roll it up, throw it away, and focus on what you can do. So I want to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe. I always appreciate your guys' support. Um, yeah, guys. If you guys like these and you want to see more of them, you know, like personal things, by all means. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys again. Appreciate your support. More, more and more and more and more episodes of the Cutting Series are coming out. Good night, guys. I gotta be up early tomorrow. I closed my eyes, woke up and I saw my dream.